Making it as easy as possible for your customers to check out is very important with print on demand. And so today I'm going to walk you through a highly requested video, which is how we're going to be able to link multiple different products to the same listing within Etsy. Some of the best sellers across Etsy are listings that have multiple different products linked to the same listing. And the reason this works well is for a couple of reasons, which is it allows you to offer a range of pricing that pulls the customer in. I'm not a huge fan of somebody listing a baby t-shirt as a option within the listing, which makes it look like the t-shirt's gonna be $10.99, but when I actually go to purchase it, it ends up being $30. So I don't deploy that strategy within my print-on-demand shop. However, there are other applications for being able to list multiple products within the same listing. Like let's say you're offering a water bottle um, that has a design on it. You can also offer a mug. Some people would just prefer the mug. And so it allows you to take some of that friction away from customers that really like your design, but want to see different options on how they could incorporate it into their own life. I created a video recently about how I would design a matching couples hoodie to ride that wave of cherries, matching couples outfits being popular and the seasonality of Valentine's Day and exactly my step-by-step -step process on how to design that and how we came up with that design. That's interesting. I'll link that here. Basically today, I'm going to show you how you would list multiple different hoodies within the same listing and create a template to either use once or use multiple times if these end up being popular with your shop. So what I have done is I have created my products in Printify. Typically we're creating our products in Printify and then we are pushing them back to Etsy. Right now, we're just gonna leave them as unpublished because it's not important for us to link them right now. I basically have the same hoodie, but with two different designs on them. This one on the left is going to be the coordinating potentially boyfriend design that is lucky me with the dice. And then the right version is going to be the lucky me with the cherries. Since cherries are trending well, we wanted to do kind of like a coordinating, but not exactly the same type of style. So I basically put this exact same design on the same products, which is a hoodie, that is coming in three different colors. I have created those listings on Printify. It is the same product, the Gildan 18500, but the design is differentiated to be one more feminine and one more masculine. Now, once I have my products designed, I'm gonna go over to Etsy and I'm gonna create a new listing. This is going to be a template that you can use in the future if you want to launch other coordinating hoodie listings. You fill this out for print on demand, making sure you're choosing a physical item, another company or person. It is a finished product and these are made to order and choose your print provider and then hit continue. So this is going to be a template. So I'm gonna put into here template matching hoodie here. I'm going to add in photos. The only photos I would recommend adding it at this point are going to be more of like your sizing guides or any additional promotional images that you post. So that's all I'm going to add to this template. I'm then going to scroll down. I can leave the, this generic for now. I will go back and I will update this, but this is going to be a template. I'll create just a generic description for now. Pricing is something that we will all update later. I'm gonna choose hoodies and sweatshirts. All of these are things we can fill out later. I'll then scroll back up to variations and I'm going to hit add variations. This is very important. We're only able to have two different variations. And as you know, we have three different colors that we chose, white, black, and charcoal. We are also gonna have like six or seven different size options and we're going to have a different design on each one. So we're going to need to make these more customized to what our products are going to be. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a size and design category. So this is going to be something that you can always customize if in the future you end up doing t-shirts and hoodies, you would have to do size design product. But for now, since I'm only gonna be doing hoodies for this listing, I'm gonna leave it as size and design. And so I'm going to need to create an option for each one of my different variations. So an example of that would be small cherries, small dice. You'll fill this out for all the different sizes that you're going to offer. So for me, that's going to be everything from small to 4X. Once you have all of those different options and you're going to hit done and you're going to add your last variation, which for this one is just going to be color. We're only offering three different colors across this spectrum, which is going to be white, black, and charcoal. But keep in mind that if you were offering more colors, you would add them in here. Or if you're offering different colors across different products, you would need to have those specifics 
in here as well. I have my two variations linked, which is gonna be size and design, as well as color. Our pricing is not gonna vary by color, but it will vary by size because it's more expensive for certain sizes. Quantities are not going to vary, but for SKUs, that is going to vary by size and design and color because every one of those combinations is going to be different. From there, I can hit apply and it will drop out all of my different options here in terms of SKU and price. So we have some options. Feel free to update your pricing to whatever makes sense for your profit margins. As I mentioned before, it's typically common to have 25 to 30% profit margins, but it's also, it's also common to offer a higher price and then be able to have a discount applied. So something to keep in mind when you're setting your prices here. From here, as you can see, if I try to save this as a draft, you will need to add in a shipping option. So the shipping piece is something that's a little bit interesting. For me, it's going to be easy because I'm only offering one product type with this listing. But if you are offering t-shirts to baby clothes, to all different types of things, all within one listing, presumably, some of those are gonna have cheaper shipping and there's not a way to link all of that appropriately within this listing. So you'll just have to choose a shipping price that is reasonable for you for the entire listing. I offer free shipping on anything on Etsy over $35 and presumably a hoodie will end up being over $35. So it's less of an importance for me on this listing, but again, choose the pricing that makes the most sense for you. You can also use the recommended option where it will dynamically change the price based on the item weights. But I always prefer to just go more with a fixed option so customers know kind of what they'd be paying. I'll also make sure to add in the quantity of $9.99, which is just the highest quantity, but it's kind of arbitrary unless you're anticipating to sell. Hopefully you will sell 999 of these, but put in there whatever you want. From there, you can hit save as draft. Now I've saved this as a draft just so y'all can see how I do it. Obviously with this example, it's a little bit different because my design is different. I'm not using the exact same design on every product. And I made this a listing template. However, keep in mind that I did create that variation that is specific to the design. So it has like small dice, small cherry, all those different types of things. I created that as a reminder of how I would need to go in and edit it. But keep in mind that if you are utilizing a template and you are changing the design and not putting the exact same design on every product, you would need to update that variation to be more reflective of what the design is. From here, I'm gonna click into it and I'm going to copy this design and I, this is where I'm going to actually build my design. So from here, I'm going to edit this to be exactly beefed up and listed as what you would want. So instead of this, I'm going to do couples matching hoodies, cherry and dice hoodies for boyfriend and girlfriend. You'll fill this out with all the images that you'll be downloading from Printify and making sure this looks really good. Now this is where you could stop, right? You could publish this and when an order comes in to Printify, where that will go is basically over to your other orders where you would have to match that order to the correct SKU. So that is something that is, if you are a little bit hesitant initially on putting in a ton of listing effort and you're okay that when those orders come in, you're going to just like select the right variation, then you can stop now. You can beef up this product listing and publish it ready to go to start getting some eyeballs and impressions. And potentially as these sales start coming in, if you want to automate it, you could do the next step. If you wanna automate it from the get-go, that is your prerogative. And the way that Printify links to their products and knows which products are actually listed on Printify is going to be the SKU. So you'll wanna make sure that the SKU vary button is turned on and you'll click into that and you'll basically see all of these white boxes to now input in your SKU. What you would do is you would go over to Printify, find your product, and basically scroll down to the bottom where it actually has all the different variations. When you click into these variations, you're going to see the different SKU numbers. So for example, this is the small cherry version of this, and this is the SKU number for white, charcoal, and black. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm gonna copy this, go back over to my listing and paste that here. You're going to do that for all of the different variants to make sure you're putting in the correct SKU for each different option. Sometimes it's helpful to split your screen so you can just copy and paste and make sure everything's going in properly. But once this SKU is tied to the variant in Etsy, when an order comes in, it will automatically link to Printify and be moved through the process more seemingly. So it's a little bit of an automated process, which is why I recommend that if you're not 
fully ready to commit that much time to this to just go ahead and publish the listing without all the linking. And then if it starts getting traction, you can go in and do all of the linking through the specific SKU numbers. That is it. That is how you're going to list multiple different designs within the same Etsy listing to make sure that you are giving your customers a seamless experience to purchase their different designs all through one specific listing. If that has been helpful, please like and subscribe for more content like this.